everybody, it's Corey at the Reset Girl, and I am here to do three weeks at once. We are going to be doing week eight, nine, and ten. Yes, I'm going to be doing last week's, this week's, and working ahead. As I have mentioned in past episodes, I have said that you can actually do individual pockets as a way of doing a single prompt. And I am going to prove that out today because I am now officially behind. And I thought this would be a really excellent opportunity to demonstrate how you can actually get quite a few pockets done at one shot. I really appreciate all of the feedback you lovely girls gave me last let's see, last time, last week, last, not last week, um, I, I did a post on my community tab mentioning that I wasn't going to be doing a video and instead asked for feedback because uh, although I, I really do want to produce um, content every week, I don't necessarily want it to be a pocket art challenge video every single week. I, I do realize that there's other uh, videos I also want to get out. And while Mark and I are trying to balance other types of, of projects and responsibilities that we have, we realize that there's got to be a little bit more balance. So I'm going to try doing it this way also and see how that works. So I appreciate you guys taking the time to let me know. Uh, quite a few of you mentioned that it's helpful to have that kind of accountability. So I think that this will also demonstrate to you that you can actually do quite a lot of pockets at one time too. So let's go over those prompts for this um, video. So week eight is letters or numbers. Week nine is word and week 10 is currently. So this is uh, what I'm going to do. So I pulled out one of my favorite pocket pages, which is the two three by four pockets and the six by four single pocket, which that does not help you in the least <laughs> see, see that any better. So I'm just going to have to fill the pockets to show you. So this is where the trusty pre-cut uh, paper. This is where this helps the most in being able to have kind of a hack in um, doing things very uh, quickly. So when it comes to letters, numbers, words, um, I actually went through my my pre-cut paper and cards to see did I actually have anything um, that kind of filled that um, prompt already. And it turned out I did. So I had some journal cards. These are from, um, these are, I'm trying to remember the name Maggie Holmes. These came from two different Maggie Holmes collections or probably a single Maggie Holmes collections knowing, I think it was the open book, the open book collection, which I was a huge fan of. And I bought like several of them to put in kits back when we did Lister's Got a List. So I have multiple cards of these. And then this is a card that I made myself for when I think for like one of our own printable journal cards uh, for when we like did a camp kit. I, I think that's why I have this. So um, here were some of those cards. So I'm just going to just kind of let them be placeholdered right here. So they'll be the my letters or numbers. And then I kind of did the same thing with uh, words. So I went through my cards. Did I have any words that, that stood out to me? So this card had the word seek on it. And then this one had the word saved. So I pulled those out and set those aside. And then the next uh, prompt said currently. So at this point, this page right here, this, I'm sorry, this pocket right here was going to be probably Probably a card that was going to be something in uh, what is this horizontal and something that was going to going to need to pattern wise color wise work well complement complement um, the cards up above so going back and playing around with all of these things these two cards up here they just sort of naturally ended up on top of the, my little decks here it kind of ended up being these two cards and then I ended up really liking this uh, paper I believe now I always confuse these I believe this paper is either Heidi Swap's paper or it's Vicki Booten I always confuse the two because both of them have some similar 
papers. They're like painty, very painty mixed media like papers in their collection. So it's one of the two. But I do like this because it does draw from the pinks and mustards and there's this little kind of like little splish of green there. So I really liked that. And this kind of background is going to work really well with what I was thinking I would do for currently. Okay, so what I was thinking with this for currently, just to give you a little heads up of how I was going to handle that, because it just looks like a, a weird piece of paper at this point, is I uh, did a pregame show here, is I have uh, typed up a little list of some things that I have been currently doing. I've been watching YouTube. I've been eating carnivore. I've been back to Bible time. I've, my skincare game is A plus right now. I have really been got that going. Um, I have been drinking so much tea. I am practically a Brit. <laughs> I've been using ASMR for sleeping, which has been really good because I have, had, you know, in the past I've had a lot of trouble sleeping. And so that's been really pleasant. And then my pocket art challenge. So, so these are just some of the little things. So I'm going to set up a little series of little word strips on here to, to pull that off. So these are pretty much done for me. As you can see, this is a very, 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 very easy, easy peasy thing. So I'm just pretty much going to just slip these right here in the pocket. These are kind of one and done. Oh, 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 not, not just yet though. Hang on. I just remembered I am going to at least label these because I'm not going to do what I normally do. So let me, let me, let me explain. So I'm just going to kind of, um, put this on this card, which is, this card's so cute. I didn't even, th this is the great thing about kind of like, um, collecting all your, your ephemera, uh, ephemera. Do you guys remember back in the day when I could not say that word? I, I really wish that that had just rolled off my tongue because I can actually say it now, but, uh, collecting all your ephemera <laughs> and just having it, uh, just all together. And then you just never know when like the right piece will just be used. Even if you have it for several years, some one day, someday it will be the right piece. It will just be used for something. And I'm pretty sure that's been sitting among all these little cards. I mean, all these cards, I rarely use journal cards, which is a big reason why I've really loved uh, this whole pocket page project because it's forcing me to use up a lot of these things week. Okay. What was I even saying? I was, I was starting a sentence and now I've lost focus. Um, shoot. <laughs> I can't even remember what I was saying. Let's see. Let's see. Word. Word is week nine. Am I at the end of this roll? It just feels like this tape just does not want to cooperate in any way. Let's, let's see what's going on in here. Yep. That's what it was. Dunzo. Okay. So I have a delicate operation here because I actually, that number nine is like split down the middle, right up the middle. So I'm going to have to like recreate that number nine, like a surgeon. All right. First I'm going to need my glasses because this is a delicate, delicate operation. <gasps> okay. We're going in first of all. And pull the backing off. See, see what I'm saying? So I'm going to have to re recreate that. This is not, this is not for the week. Okay. This is definitely a case for, I don't know, some craft tool. <laughs> Hopefully I have the right craft tool. Do I got some tweezers in the house? Because this is the time you need those tweezers. Yes. Here we go. Okay. My goodness. No, no, that's not the right piece. Here we go. I don't know. It, oh goodness. Oh goodness. <laughs> it, this piece is like, oh my goodness. This piece is just not, it's, it's not quite as, as formed as I had thought it was. I don't know. Okay, let's see if we can get it to come back. Can we get a resurrection here? Resurrection. Okay, so let's get all this little squishy scooch. Okay, so 
Yes, no, okay. You know what? Let's pull this out. I'm not, I, I lied. I, I forget, I forget the, mo the other important thing that I like to do, which is to get a little bit of starshine going on, a little bit of sparkles, just a little bit. Because otherwise it's just kind of a little, it's just a little bit there. It's just not, it's not dazzly, you know? And if it could be dazzly, like just a little bit bedazzled. Do you guys remember? I know a lot of you are Gen Xers. Um, and even if you're not, even if you're baby boomers, you'll remember bedazzle. Do you remember the bedazzler when it was on TV? <gasps> oh my gosh. Who did not want a bedazzler? <laughs> it was the best. I know that that was... I'm sure some of you had a bedazzler. Okay. Now, this is Rhonda. She's the honey I... A few of the honeys have names. Not all of them, but this one has a name. And her name's Rhonda. I actually have... Let me see. I feel like... I feel like there's two versions of her. She's There's two Rhondas. She's wearing this outfit, which we've changed into different patterns and colors and then there's another version of her in a completely different outfit but she has a little gleam in her eye and I really like her all right so we're gonna do another one because we always do them in threes that's the rules I don't make them up okay grab that one there this feels weird. I don't know. They just seem weird when they're kind of like, I don't know, spread out a little bit. Does that seem weird? That seems weird. Hmm. Okay, I'm bringing these down. I'm bringing them down here. You guys are going downtown. Let's come on down here. Going downtown. Isn't that a name? Isn't that a song? A name? Isn't that a song? Wasn't that a song? Downtown? Yeah. Like a song from the 60s. I can even hear her 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 voice. It was a little shrill, but it, it, I'm pretty sure that was a song, Downtown. Okay. Okay. And Rhonda's in the right era for that song, too. Okay. Now... We're right here. We're going. We're almost there. We're almost there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Almost, almost, almost. Okay, so this whole... I've, I've been really, really, really loving these kind of like odd boxes. <laughs> you see the offset line, how it's kind of offset from the seven? I just really have loved that from the time I first saw that, that trend, which I kind of feel is not, not on trend as much anymore, but... I, I am keeping it alive. I personally, for myself, I love it. It brings my heart joy. I don't care if other graphic designers have moved on to other things. I love it. I love it, so I will continue doing it. And that's the thing about trends. Some people continue to keep them alive. Now, I, think about this. When we have seen people keep some trends alive, like hairstyles, you know, there are some people that keep them alive. Do you guys remember that episode of Seinfeld? <laughs> Where uh, I believe she was a, chiro chiro a chiropractor and she had this hairstyle that was straight out of like the 80s and she, it was quite eye-catching. And, uh, you know, uh, People couldn't help but notice her hair. So there's there's those kinds of things, and you could make the argument, or you know, but it was it was popular at the time. But somehow there's there's some kinds of trends that don't really stand the test of time. Somehow it is very odd, you know. Um, and then it's interesting how some trends circle back around. So case in point, like. Uh, the first thing that comes to mind is um, in the 70s, there was kind of like the bell-bottom jean. And then in the 90s, it circled back and kind of became, what do we call those? They were called, were they called flares? 
They were slightly different, but still kind of the same. So there's that. A trend will go out of fashion and comes back into fashion. Uh, hair, my dad's haircut that he had in the early 70s, that haircut came back in the 2000s. But it's weird when somebody tries to hold on to that haircut and, and goes, goes it alone. <laughs> but then they stand out like a sore thumb. You got to wait till like the herd <laughs> brings it back. But somehow in like little ways, you can get away with it with little things. Just, you know, I don't know. Is that weird that we do that as people? How come we will we'll notice people who do that, like the way they're dressed or like their hair will kind of be like, oh, goodness, that person needs to change. But if a lot of people were doing it, we'd be like, oh, look, that trend came back. I don't know how that all that came to mind. I don't know how all that entire conversation just burst out of my brain, but discuss among yourselves in the comments. OK, so. Oh, okay. There's our question of the week. Um, you share with me a trend that you uh, remember as a kid and that's come back. And do and you think it should have come back? Yay or nay? So I was thinking with this, I would do one of my uh, little favorite-y things, which is the little dots, trying to get my money's worth out of this one. So this one is, you know, stuff I'm doing. I'm also gluing on my little pad, which I don't want to do. So how about this? How about I, I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to do this. I'm going to, no, no, no. Okay. I'm just trying to find something that I can use to glue with. Okay. Hold right here. I'll be right back. Okay. So I found a little template I made for a six by eight. <laughs> to make dividers with that'll have to do okay so I'm just I am just randomly gluing these little strippies down and uh this is an easy way of doing like listing if you uh want to just uh, scrap lift this idea it's super simple and if you don't especially if you're not a fan of your own handwriting or even if you are if you don't care about your handwriting write out your list on some white paper and cut it into strips or type it up and then cut it into strips and then arrange your strips on a piece of scrap paper like so and then just oops uh, and then you can be a little bit random about its placement. This was like oddly placed. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm missing one. This seems like an odd amount, but I looked through all my little strips over there and I don't seem to be missing any, but okay. All right. So I have two favorite color, um, pens right now so this is like a really awesome like a deep deep chocolate brown color and then this yummy butterscotch i just started the, uh, back to the carnivore diet so <laughs> excuse me for the food references but i am loving both of these um they're super super fun a little different than just doing plain old black and um just doing these offset kind of messy lines just adds a little more like art journal style to it. Just kind of doing a little extra. I love these little hand, you know, the little hand, uh, what would you call it? It's not handwriting. It's a little hand. I don't know the, I don't know the proper name for this. What am I doing? I'm adding a hand drawn element. It's like a, little, like a messy box because I'm, absolutely not trying to be perfect um then i thought okay so maybe i'm not going to think about this what am i trying to do um so my my absolutely i was just trying to make this very simple and not um just try to be simple so trying to show you how look I can just literally throw on a few dots a few strips strops strops <laughs> strips and dots <laughs> oh, 
otherwise known as strops. Um, it, it's not it's not the most uh, exciting um, thing perhaps I've ever done, but uh, okay, so now I have to figure out where to store my extra. I remember making this incredible drawer that is like, uh, which I, he's made for like two, three years ago, two years ago. Now I have to do a, uh, how do I do this here? Um, I have to do a requested video just to show you guys a little tour of my desk. Let me see if right. Okay, that's not right. Let me see here. Yeah, that comes out this way. Oh, that's right. Okay. Ooh, nope, that's what happens. Nice there we go. Very, very analog. Very simple. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this one is week 10. Oh, I'm just lying. I'm just gonna do. Yikes. What the heck, man? See you. It's getting warm in here. E and T L Y. Word on there and number on here. I guess in retrospect, I probably should have done it the opposite of what I did, but we're not, we're just not going backwards. We're just, we're just, I'm just accepting it because that's what I do. Okay. So that is it. Now let me. Let me see here. Let's push all this away. So this would go back in my little binder. Now I have this little guy right here, right? This is the one that had the little um, prompt on this side. So it has this backing on it. So I was thinking what I would do is just, instead of just having this plain backing is think, okay, what, what can I put on here? So I have these little guys in here. These are, um, pictures that I had altered with, um, honeys, but as you know, I have a feeling about, you know, not, not clouding up a spread with too many honeys. Honeys deserve their own little moment in the sun. So I thought this one's rather benign. I'll just do that. So I'm just going to glue my target here so that at the very minimum this guy will just get kind of a nice little oops I'll get a nice little uh decorated back packing and then we're gonna flip it over This little hole punch is small but mighty. So there we go. So now it's not just a little plain Jane. So there we go. Weeks eight, nine, and ten. So that takes care of next week as well. So hopefully next week I will be uploading a video of a different topic because I have done um, the pocket art challenge prompt and I hope that you enjoy doing your prompt 
and this will give you some kind of idea for doing something super simple. And this will give you an idea for doing something super simple in doing any of your prompts and doing a fast catch up. You clearly can see fast, simple, quick. You don't have to make it super fancy or I'll spend a lot of time doing it as long as you love it. And simple can be lovely. Simple can be lovely. So wherever you are, sweet, sweet friends, I hope you are having a wonderful, lovely day and that you are blessed and that I I look so forward to seeing you in the next video. Love your little face. Bye, everybody.